This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Chain of Command. I'm of course joined by Richard from Two Fat Lardies. And uh, Richard, where are we fighting today? We are fighting in Russia. Uh, not quite Stalingrad, but we're on the way there. This is autumn of 1942 and the Germans are thrusting eastwards towards the Volga. Uh, the weather's still good, so no snow. Uh, and we are looking to drive you out of this collective farm. Pig farm number 452, one of the finest pig farms in the Soviet Union, allegedly. Bacon, bacon. <laughs> we make great bacon. Great bacon. Um, so uh, that's, uh, we're here to, uh, to make bacon. Okay. So right, so we're gonna we're gonna start the game off. What we've done is we've already rolled for our force morale to see where we are. I'm on eight, mm -hmm. uh, you've got a total of nine, I believe, so far. All right, so we're now hitting the patrol phase, which is how we start every game. Now, because this is an attack and defend scenario, you get the option of placing your patrol markers anywhere up to eighteen inches. From, from the end of the table? From the table edge. All right, so we're playing lengthways on this one. This we are. Time. We're going from here to that way. Right. So those guys, yeah, 18 inches in. And they can be as spread out as you like. I start on the table edge. Um, well, I've here's, got here's where I've got mine laid out, just along the roadway here. Hopefully I can move on in. Yeah. What about your side? A bit of a oh, net way down to there. catch me. I'm starting off on the table edge. I've, got, I've put three on the road, and I put another one over here behind this wood, uh -huh. uh, but whilst I seem to be a long way away, I do get to roll a d6, first of all. Now let's see what I roll. Okay, three. I roll three. Now that allows me, because I'm the attacker, that allows me to make three free moves Oof. before we start our patrol phase. This is going to hurt? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> That's my plan. One, two, and I'm going to barrel straight down the road to get as much ground as possible. So I've, I've put myself in a position where I've, uh, I've started to make ground already. Now we start the patrol phase normally. Okay. Who's got the higher force morale? Oh, you maybe. have, so you get to move first. Now okay. remember, we've got to keep all of our patrol markers within 12 inches of another one nearby. Okay. So you can start moving forward to see where our patrols make contact. And that's going to tell us where our jump off points are going to be. And then we can start the game proper. I'm sensing Blitzkrieg. I feel a Blitzkrieg coming on. <laughs> Alright, so from my side, I think the first mm. thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one 12. Okay. And I'm going to move it 12 right up to here. Right. So that I'm near at least a couple of houses that I can actually maybe deploy into. Yeah, good call. Uh, now, make sure I'm within 12 of the other. I am. It's mm. fine. So, your turn then? Yeah, now I've streaked ahead over here, but of course I now have these ones at the back acting as a bit of a drag. I'm going to have to start moving them up because I can't just start rushing up down the road. Mm. I'll try not to knock the Russian <laughs> forestry system out of existence. No, no, that's, so. that's, that's, uh, that's fine. You <laughs> knock them down, we'll just turn them into logs for the tanks. <laughs> so, I'm going to move that guy there. Okay. So, there we go. So, I'm pushing out towards the piggies. Mm. All right, so it's back to me then. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm seeing a rather lovely farmhouse here, so I think I'm going to go to like here. Yeah, and heading that's out still there, within right. the, the twelve. Okay. So a nice little red box on the tabletop. Okay. Well, I'm 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 equally fond of uh, getting some cover in these farmhouses, so I'm moving that guy forward to there. Just checking that everything's within twelve, and it happily it all is at the moment. Awesome. Uh, back to my side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move one of my back ones up because mm. I actually want to to try I think because it's all about making your triangles as well yeah that's right so if I can get one here that'll mm. mean you've got to cut across a little more and maybe cut down your deployment a little bit okay well what I'm gonna do here is something a little bit cheeky okay is I'm gonna move that guy up to there ah so that he's locked down himself but he's locked down both of yours as well Ooh. ouch I know <laughs> hmm. That was cheeky. a kind of uh, kind of cheeky thing to do, but it's mm. uh, I, I reckon that's going to do me a few, few favours. That's okay. Uh, well, in mm. that case, this one mm. now measure out twelve from here for me. Yeah. Because so soon as we're I... kind of going to stop sort of here. I'm thinking, yeah. If I'm I'm basically on the rooftop. Yep. Okay. So uh, I don't know if it'll sit. Well, I'll tell you what we'll uh -huh. do. I've got it. It works. 
Ah, uh, it's too clever. It was going <laughs> to fall off. There we go. We'll put it. We'll put it in the house. We'll okay, leave that okay. roof off for now. Right, and right. that's now locked. That's now locked oh, down. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's interesting because that might have backfired on me a bit because all of a sudden, if you lock your remaining one down, I'm kind of. The patrol phase is finished. You're in and the weeds. Some, and some of mine are kind of right back here, still on the starting line. So being being uh, overly clever wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, well I'm going to have to I'm going to have to try and start my probing. So these guys going up here. It depends what you want to do. Do you want to shut down yet, or do you want to start developing some of the flanks? Because you could start really moving around here, mm. or you could start moving out towards the. You see, what, what I'm thinking is, mm. there's a rather nice barn here. Oh, I'm is. thinking if I can get something heavy in there, that's going to make a nice killing field. Down You've got a killing field, yeah. So, so I'm I think you're right. The thing to do is to start heading out in that direction. So I'll go out to there. Right, okay. It does allow you a little bit of freedom, but mm. I think I, I have to sacrifice my own freedom for that. I think you're probably right, sadly. Right, okay. Well, I'm, I'm pushing around as well. Mm. All right, uh, last thing for me then. Ooh. Think. Now measure out 12 for me again. 12 from here would bring you to there. 12 from there would kind of catch you there. So I don't think you're going to be... I see, uh, I think 12 from that central one. Mm. So you see this one here? Yeah. I'm going to try and swing myself right, so that I'm just about nipping the 12 there. Right, so you're locking that down? Yeah. Okay, right. Well, that's an interesting one because uh, my, my attack is underdeveloped here. So what's happened is... In a kind of typical blitzkrieg way, we've just punched up the road and... Yeah, the forward elements. Yeah, and have really uh, been spotted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we want to look at what options we've got. And we remember we talked about the way that uh, we used the nearest two uh, enemy patrol markers to determine what deployment area you've got. Mm -hmm. So for here, that would create a triangle with a line going through there and there, which would mean that you could... You could deploy here mm -hmm. from that one. For this one here, well, realistically, you've got an option of going into the main building or into the office. I think I'll pop one into this main, main building, building here. Right, so okay, well, let's... Uh, we'll pop the riff off Okay, there. so that's your first one. So now it's uh, my opportunity to put one of mine down. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, what have I, I got? I've given you some horrible options. You've here. really given me some really horrible options. So... The options I've got here, well, this guy, I could I could have somebody in this sort of farm area here, or I could even go as far back as down here uh, into the woodland, mm. but that's, that's not overly appealing. <laughs> not exactly Blitzkrieg, is it? This one here, well, we got there and there. So I could either be in this farmhouse, back in this church, uh, and these guys, well, the options are even worse. I mean, I'm back in this woodland. I think... I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I was trying to cut your your knees off to actually go out on that wide flank. You certainly did that. Okay, I'm gonna put my first one in here in the in the shed. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pop it next to the shed. That's near <laughs> enough. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that allows us to okay. see where it is. Right. Okay. okay so where are you going me. next? Mm. So what options you have got? The tractor, the tractor shed. Mm because that's very definitely in the triangle created by those two lines. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll pop it just right about here. Right, so they've got to be in cover, so we're putting it there on the table, but it's actually in the tractor yeah. shed. Yeah. It's just okay. inside behind that wall, yeah. I think it's fine. That's great. All uh, right, well, it's kind of obvious, really. I've got to go. Do I need to go here? Well, I think I think so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in there, in that house. Yeah. Uh, Right. Whenever it's in the house, it's still from the token, yeah? It's still from... Well, uh, it's got to be six inches back from there. So when they deploy, they will deploy six inches from the deploy the jump-off point. Yeah. So they could actually deploy into the farmyard, into the field, That's fine. back here. It gives me a bit, of, bit more flexibility than it looks like. Mm. Right. Uh, I think for my last, <clears throat> there's a rather nice little house here. Can I get into it? Hmm... Let's see. The no, well, the closest you can do is get into that shed, which actually would allow you to deploy into there from six inches back. So that just pop be. that in the. There you go. That's fine. It fits. And for my final one, well, <laughs> I'm back in the trees. There's no way around it. So yes. I'll pop that back there. 
Absolutely fine by me. I've yeah. stalled your advance with this. You have. You really have. So I think you can definitely say you've won that patrol phase. The interesting thing about the patrol phase, of course, is that we could play this exactly the same game again on the same table and end up with some completely different deployment points. Because mm -hmm. as it is, it looks like your line is kind of solidifying around here, around yeah, so the, the heart of the collective farm. Yeah. And my advance has come up just into the edges of it was still with some of it in yeah. the woods the goats were on point that day <laughs> exactly right okay so we'll pop that one back on there yep and off we go so uh it is i'm the attacker ah so i'm going to go first lovely lovely what we do we use five command dice this is a standard german platoon for this period um and we've got some nice little supports in there which we'll see as they come on i think yeah. i'm going to keep them a bit secret surprises <laughs> it's better than christmas right Ooh, well five and two fives well a pair of fives is going to put two chain of command points yeah. in my bag for use later mm. Ooh, the threes, are threes. the threes are not bad and the reason the threes are not bad is that one of my support options mm. is a rather attractive oh god Stug. So I think I'm going to bring this guy on, and he's going to attempt to. Uh, hmm. He's going to he's going to come on. His deployment point, his jump off point, is actually always the road. Mm. He can come on within six inches of that. Right. No, that's that only if there is a road. Yeah. That's only if there is a road. If there's no road, I've got to come on on the table edge still, but I can choose where it goes. I'm going to come on here because I think I'm going to try and dominate this area here. So if you start bringing out troops mm -hmm. <clears throat> in that area. I'm going to blow them up with my stuck. So that's one of my threes. And because he's coming on with uh, a, a leader activating mm -hmm. him, level three, uh, sorry, a level two leader activated yep. on a three, we're going to put them on overwatch. So if you appear and start shooting or running about in the road, we're mm -hmm. going to react to that. Okay. Right, next one, next two three. Hmm? Two more, go Two more, it. yeah, I know. Well, I reckon I've got to start trying to make some progress up the middle. There's no point in hanging about here. Um, and the other thing is, if you do decide to come out and shoot me, well, I've got that stug there waiting. Mm. So I've got a deployment point here. Let's move these attractive chickens. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put our machine gun down here. Oh. Now, is this just a, a machine gun section? or is That's this... one machine gun team, and this is the rest of the squad. So here's the yeah. rifle team that goes with that. And we're going to put them here. So they've both got a pretty clear line of fire up the road. Uh, now what I'm doing is um, I've got that leader there and he's going to put the machine gun team on overwatch. Oh. So if you are going to be appearing, we've got a lot of firepower pointing in your direction. Mm hmm. Hmm. What do I do? I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to push this because I'm not messing about here. <laughs> I'm going to put, <clears throat> I'm going to deploy a section out here in the field. Oh. From that deployment point there. We're going to have them there. But we're going to do something a bit cheeky. Is we are going to put them on mm -hmm. tactically. Ah. which means they're making the best use of cover possible. So if you shoot at them, they might be in the open, but actually they're going to count as being in light cover because the, whilst this table is perfectly flat, mm. real in reality the ground varies, and so what's happening is these guys are seeking out the best possible cover mm. and making full use of that. If they move tactically, they can do so at a, a slower rate than normal. They just move with 1d6 and remain tactical. So we're basically creeping up the outside of the village. That's much my dice used. I've used all of my dice there. I'm kind of kind of showing my hand early in the game, but yeah, why not? To. I'm going to push on. All right, well, I'll roll mine. Okay. Oh, God. Three ones. Three ones. It's not bad, because you can make what you like of ones. All right. I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Three ones, two threes. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> well, we knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm guessing you can do that and it's something you should be careful of in game. Well, that's, uh, that's why we use separate dice, totally separate dice for mm. that purpose. That's the same reason we have these giant chain of command dice mm. 
because people will otherwise just pick them up and roll it and go, I don't know how many chain of command points I've got. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, mm. I believe I have a maximum machine gun crew. I believe you do. And can I activate them on a one? You can activate them on a one because that's the only thing you can activate them on because they don't actually have a leader attached to them. Right. Well, for them... Five machine gun or five guys. I'm thinking I'm going to deploy them in here. I think that could be a good thing to do. Uh, does now, the roof come off here? The, lead, the roof does come off, but it doesn't come off easily. <laughs> Okay, I am going to say they are inside there, and that's I'm just fine. going to place them that's along the wall. That's a great idea, yeah. Where they are. Yeah. So that's the full team there. Okay, and you can fire. Awesome. Well, let's get the last guy down. Right. And... Ten dice. Ten dice. Ooh. Okay. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Let's fire. Now, what range fire. are we at? Now, this is interesting, because 18 inches is uh, close range for yes. most weapons, but for machine guns yeah. on a tripod mount or in this case a sled mount or wheeled mount yep. it's 24 inches lovely so you're in close range there awesome so so great let's hope three, my four, five, ta six. tactical stance helps yeah four five six. Oh, four, five, six? Four, okay. five, six, because you're in close range okay let's see what we get one more mm. okay so <laughs> uh one two three, three. Three hits. Three's all I got. Right, okay. Now, still not bad. I'm in the open, so you're probably going to put two. Because we've got an odd number, I've got two teams here. I've got a rifle team and a machine gun team. Mm. Because uh, I'm in the open, you get to choose where the odd one goes. So, so being moving tactically, it mm. increases your cover, but doesn't put you into cover where you get no, to choose? No, it increases your cover, but it doesn't, get to, doesn't put you actually into it. Right, that's an important thing. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously two on the MG team. Two on the machine gun team. Very wise. That is one point of shock so we'll put that on there to signify that and then we'll just roll for the rifle team is nothing so actually being uh being there tactically has kind of saved me from any trouble mm -hmm. right now i can't react to that because none of my overwatches are seeing that so what are you going to do next you've got two 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 ones and mm. two three uh, two threes yeah i do believe i also have a anti-tank gun no, anti you've got an anti-tank rifle. Oh, sorry, anti-tank mm. rifle. Yeah. So I think I will deploy it, mm. and I'm going to pop it into here, into this building. It's okay. a nice hard cover. Well, here we go. Here's a man with his anti-tank rifle, yeah. and here's his little mate with his binoculars. Now, the thing you ought to know about these buildings is that um, if we were in Normandy, yeah. where these things were beautifully built from French stone or bricks, yeah. you'd be getting hard cover in there. Yeah. These things are made out of old matchsticks and bits of old plank. Oh. So they only count as light cover, I'm afraid. But there you go. If better. that's the best I can get on the board, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. They will obviously try and take a shot at that stug. Right. So okay. How far away is it? Well, he's in the open. Uh, he's in the open. You're, it doesn't matter for you. You're firing with an anti-tank weapon. So he is... Um, close range okay uh, but you need to roll to see if you hit first of all right. so that is two dice he's in the open it's a five so not difficult uh that'll be six so yeah you've hit i'll take that right now you've got three strike dice because this is well you've hit but we need to see if you penetrate the armor and we're looking for fives and sixes there's a six so there's, there's a at least six. the one there's one okay now i have got armor of five Mm. on this guy so he's pretty strongly armored compared to what you're shooting at it but remarkably not a single save no fives and sixes ouch so we've got a net one hit there so i'm going to look at my play sheet and see what the effect is on that mm -hmm. and uh do you want to roll me a dice I'll because roll you a dice. Uh, we um, have a whole range of what could happen here i'll roll you one of your dice why not a two absolutely two okay the gunner panics and cannot be activated in the next phase. Yes. And you get one point of shock. Thing to remember is uh, once you get four points of shock, mm. the crew are going to jump out and run away because they, they do not like it. So the thing with an anti-tank rifle is you are not going to blow that tank up. We're well, highly unlikely to blow that tank up. Yeah. You could. You could get a lucky shot. But you're more likely to keep banging away and make the crew go, I really don't want to be here. I do not like this. Okay. I need to ring the bell. <laughs> every turn every, every turn yeah absolutely all right so that was a one for them as well yeah they don't have a junior leader with them that's right so that leaves but me i'm going to fire back at you oh because i have an overwatch i see so before you start running about doing other things we're going to use that up so we take that off okay right i'm firing at you he mm. reduces cover by one level 
Uh, so I'm technically in the open. You're technically in the open. Ooh. And I roll six dice. Hit. And I'm hitting on four, fives, and sixes. And I, I roll five of them. Oh, yeah, five. I uh, have. So do you want to roll your dice to see what the effect is? Yeah. Let's see. Um, one guy dies. One guy dies, and you get three points of shock. Uh, which is... Which doubles, more than double the number of men left. Yeah, so the last guy runs. The last guy runs off screaming. Oh. He routes. So, you got to roll me 2d6 to okay. see how far he goes. And we add six to this. Okay, uh, eight. Eight inches. That's right. not bad. That's not too bad. Not bad. So basically, he's run out into the back garden, and he's waiting yeah. for somebody to come and cheer him up. <laughs> so and we'll take his shot shark with, with him. him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, now... Ooh, that's bad. Well, it is bad, and it's what we call a bad thing happens, which is where we roll to see how our force morale is affected. Because your guys are going, ha ha, we'll defend this position, and we can remember, we can depend on Igor with his anti-tank rifle. To no, no, that's, that's Ivan. Oh, that's Ivan. Well, that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> see, uh, Ivan is a little bit Terrible. overconfident. No, he's a little overconfident going, yeah. ha, Soviet... Uh, uh, German tank, I shoot tank for motherland. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ivan, don't shit. Sadly. So roll the dice to see what happens when a team breaks. A one? No effect. Nobody's bothered by it. See, so th this, this, is, this is what I'm saying. This is Ivan. They, they know he's an idiot. They don't care. <laughs> Ivan can do what he wants. <laughs> they know that Ivan is terrible. <laughs> right, okay, oh, right. Did you really? Sorry about that. I oh, apologize. that was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> right. So okay. you can carry on. I've interrupted and you can carry on with your turn. Okay. Actually, the funny thing is, I could have shot again with those guys on Overwatch, but oh, so I can't it. because they've now run away. I see. Okay. Um, well, because of that, that's going to give me problems. <laughs> A lot of problems. Mm. So there's no hard cover on this table. No. Oof. Okay, what I need to do is I need to be clever. I need to break your morale elsewhere. Mm, yeah. And just try and ignore the shtug. You do. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy into here. Yeah. So it's up to six inches away, yeah? Yeah. So I will p bring in a junior commander yep. with a, uh, a section. Okay. Interesting thing about the uh, Soviet squads or sections mm -hmm. is that they don't form teams. They are just one big squad. Okay. So they activate on the junior leader's roll of three or on a two, but they... You can't break it up. You can't just fire the machine gun because they just weren't trained like that. Mm. Well, let's put everybody into the top floor of this building for right. some, some good line of sight. Yeah. And they will shoot down into that squad of yours. Okay, great. Now, you've got one window that's facing there, and you can fire from one window. Mm -hmm. You can fire one team, uh, or sorry, one, one crude weapon. Yep. And in this case, you'd be firing the light machine gun from there. Yep. Um, <clears throat> or you could fire a couple of guys with rifles. So in this case, the best thing gun. to do is a machine gun, yeah. So you've got six dice firing there. And I believe that that is within 18, so it gives you short range. So you're hitting on fours, fives, and sixes. Okay. Uh, time to do some work. You know, it's that moment, time to make the donuts. <laughs> oh! Okay, oh. two hits. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, yeah, two hits. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll. We've got one hit on the machine gun team which is a nothing on a two, and one hit. Ah, oh, absolutely nothing. Ugh. But I think what I'm going to do, because if you can see my Overwatch marker shows yep. the angle of fire, my machine gun team is going to fire back at you. Yeah, so you've got a clear line from here yep. up at me again. I have. So but I'm, I am in light cover, which is good. Yeah, these guys don't reduce cover. Now, we know it's short range. And we do, and we know that I'm rolling well today. That's five hits, oh. so I'll take them out. So remember, you just you don't split this between teams. It's just the whole squad yep, takes a hit. Five. They don't and care, I don't think. That's uh, light cover. A four is one point of shot. That's fair so enough. So we'll just we'll pop that marker there. Right yeah, pop it in front. So we we know where we are. The only thing I have left. Yeah. So I used that and that. Mm. So I have a three mm. and a one left. Mm. What do I have left in the tank that well, I Well, could... you could bring on the senior leader who oh. could start rallying the shock of the anti tank rifle. Oh. Is it worth it though? Actually, it is, yeah. So I'll bring in a senior leader. So he can deploy there yep. because he's within six inches of yep. there. So he has seen he Ivan take, running and, and he, he can, will go here because he's yep. just been waiting, waiting yep. around the corner for him to go, Ivan, no, get back in the fight. And he can take all those three points of shock off. So yep. 
Ivan's running away, and there you go. You've got the main man there who's yeah, although kept I've, him I've, in the action. I've had to put him onto one guy. You have. But he does have the big gun. He does have the big gun. That's true. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's everything I had. So away we go with my phase. Oh, I like that. And you get the next phase. I get the next phase. Ow. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is something a bit unusual. Um, not that unusual, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy some guys down in the woods here. Okay. And what they're going to do is they're going to use something called covering fire. Okay. Which means that they can, if they had one team firing, they could put covering fire down on a four inch section of the table. So they one, the machine gun team could put covering fire down so on okay. your heavy machine gun Oof. and what that means is when you fire mm. uh, you will do so with a minus one to hit Arf. just because I'm not going to kill you I'm not going to hurt you I'm not going to put any shock on you but I'm just peppering that building with enough bullets to make you a bit wary mm. so you're moving tactically which is giving you the cover bonus and then you're using covering fire to actually make it that's the one Ugh. so however I've used a three mm. uh, to do that Yes. and I'm going to use a two sorry i'm gonna use a two to do that and okay. i'm gonna use a three to activate this squad here yes because i'm gonna take one point of shock off and i'm gonna get them to move tactically uh, so they're just gonna move inches. four inches but creepy 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 that's enough to keep them going now have i got anything else that i can use actually can i change my mind there yeah okay I'm not going to move tactically because I've got the next phase. Mm. So I'm going to run like hell. Okay. <laughs> Another three inches. That's fine. That's fine. But I didn't roll them in the thing here. That's oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll let you have it. Right. So these guys have actually run because they know they've got the next the next phase and they're taking an opportunity. Now the problem is, what happens if I if I don't roll the right number there? If I don't roll a three, I'm not going to be able to put them tactical. But let's. Uh, Let's see what we get. Right, so You've I've got, got a three. Of these there. All right. Well, these guys are going to carry on firing. Yep. The way they have done. Right. So, do you have to spend a dice on them every turn to keep them firing like that? Their their fire mm. lasts for the turn they're in, obviously, but also for the next phase only. That's right. So, their the next phase is going to be yours. So, it's going to last in that next phase. Got it. But if I can't activate them, then the next phase you can fire normally. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've got to think about where I'm going to go here. Are you within 12 there? Well, do you know what? I was <laughs> thinking about that. I am, but I'm not really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I am going to move tactically okay. this time. Four that. inches? <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Right, five inches as it happens. Well, so come those, and get me. Those guys are up there. They're moving tactically, so I'm going to put a tactical marker in front of them and what I'm hoping to do is work up to the point where I'm going to launch a devastating attack on you anyway that's two threes used mm -hmm. one left one left and a four I reckon I reckon what I'm going to do is he the NC the junior leader here on this three is going to tell the machine gun to fire okay and so they're going to do that with eight dice I'll firing up at here. Those, yep firing up at those guys so let's see how we get on with that. Ooh, big hitting, big hit. Not as big as it looked, actually. Four, four hits. But that's okay. Four hits will do. So roll your dice. Still hurts. One dead and three shock. So roll the dice to see if it's your junior leader, your NCO. It is not. It is not. So right. Exactly. So take your guy off. So I lose one guy from inside that building. Yeah. So pop the roof off. Now with his other command point, the That's junior sorry. leader who I've just activated is going to tell these guys to run over here. Oh, so they're booking it from here across yeah, this way? Yeah, going across that way. All right, well, we may well, move our dice star. See how they go. 14, uh, 15. 15. 15. Oh. All right, so where's that bring them to? Well, it brings them to in the dark tower. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll go there. Okay, is there a door here for you to jump in? Or? No, there's no All door right, for me to jump in at the moment. Right up behind it. 
But the interesting thing is, you have a deployment point. No, you have a deployment point back there, actually, yeah, don't far you? Enough okay, away. Yeah, far enough away. If I was within four inches of your deployment point, mm. it would shut it down. It wouldn't, wouldn't uh, kill it, it would just shut it down until you got rid of me. Right. Okay, now I've got a four left, which would be a senior leader. Mm. And... Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I th do you know what? I think I really need to start thinking about bringing this guy on because I'm, I'm pushing up hard here, aren't I? Mm. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I'm, I'm hiding behind this. Oh, sorry, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you've got one here and yeah, one, one here. One there, yeah, you're right. So I better go here. So he's, I'm keeping him within four inches of them so you can't just pick him off. That's me done. Okay, my fears. Mm. Let's see what we get. Come on. I can work with that. Yeah, there's a lot there. There's a lot there. So, one, mm. one, three, three, four. Mm. So, what I'm actually going to do... What is this armed with? A little, a little machine gun, the same as that bloke's got in there. Okay. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'm going to bring on a section with mm. one of the threes. Okay. And I'm actually going to deploy them in this house that you have very kindly just stood in front of the windows of. Yeah. That was a risk. Uh, <laughs> so I'll actually pop this off too, so I can pop yeah. the measure, and it's six inches from there, yeah. which gets me inside the house, yeah. which is fine. So from inside the house, mm -hmm. they are going to shoot you from the two windows. They are going to shoot through the two windows. So I presume you're going to be firing a machine gun and a couple of. Yeah, well, I mean, you, to be honest with you, <clears throat> you're not shooting. You can shoot because you're not at the windows. You can you can all shoot through them. Uh, you'll just get light cover off it. Yeah. That's absolutely fine yeah. with me if I don't start throwing your minis about. Sorry about that. That's right. Okay. That's what they're made for. So, time for a full squad to fire. Time for a full squad to fire. So, we know that you've got two guys with a machine gun, which is six dice, and you've got another eight guys. So, let's roll the six dice for the machine gun, and then we can roll another eight di gun. Well, uh, if it's dice. 20 total, so I'll do two sets of ten. It's eight and six, so it's oh, four, eight 14 total. Oh, sorry. Seven twice then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fine. Fours, fives, and sixes. Yeah. So. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And then the second set. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Ouch. So I'm just going to get a light cover from this. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just one team, so we don't uh, don't divide them out. Ooh. Ooh, interestingly, that is just two points of shock. I kind of got away with that, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, okay, so that was a... Uh... And I've got a big basket full of hand grenades to shove through that window in a moment. Well, hang far, hang far. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to keep working this. So yeah. This roof is going to come off because I'm going to need to measure this. Right. They actually just start leaving these roofs off. Yeah. So six inches from here. Yeah. I'm actually going to deploy another section here right. for a three. Okay, so you're uh, just coming out into the open, and let's sort of maximise the number of guys that you've got firing there. Now at that yeah. range, you, you can fire your NCO with his SMG. That gives you a couple of dice. Yeah. I'm thinking that's that's just such an aggressive squad, I have to just You've got to take react. Care of it. Well, that, to be honest with you, that's part of my aggressive plan is to, you know, really push and force you to show your hand. Yeah, so now from here, we've got a shot coming across here. You have. Now, what you've got there, um, you, they can't all actually see, but you've got a machine gun here, six dice. You've got the NCO at close range with his SMG, so that's another two dice. That's eight, mm -hmm. and another three or four, so let's say 12 dice. 12 dice? <clears throat> yeah. All right, I'll do two sets of six then, just to keep it simple. I like it simple. Uh, one, two, two three. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, three hits, yeah. Come on, got to do it. Now, are you getting any cover off this? Because I can't really see a lot of you. No, I'm, I'm going to get a light cover, I reckon. All right. Uh, oh, another five? Yeah, eight hits. Right. Okay, just get this stuff out of here. Yeah, I mean, realistically, you can probably only see that guy there, but let's let's go with it. Oh, three dead. Oh, three dead. Well, apparently you could see those three guys. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. That kind of does make sense, yeah. And uh, no shock. So we've, uh, well, that's unfortunate for me. Yeah. So we need to roll. No, we haven't got an NCO there. 
Oh, did you leave your NCO behind? I did, to control the machine gun fire, which is doubly stupid because uh, he's got the grenades with him. Oh! <laughs> right, okay, so that was not necessarily the greatest tactical move on my uh, part, but mm -hmm. we'll, <laughs> there you go, I've got to live with it. Okay. Any more um, for any more? Well, I've got two ones and mm. a four. Yeah. So I'm actually going to activate the four mm. and get Ivan moving yeah. again with yeah. the commander who has joined him. Yeah. Okay. And the commander can actually become part of that team. That's so what I'm saying. I'm joining the commander to that team. So this is kind of heroic stuff where your platoon commander is actually manning the anti-tank gun. Yeah. So anti-tank um, rifle. I'm going to move normally and I'll still be fit to shoot because it's the commander. No, you can go with one dice. Go and with one shoot. dice. You've got two actions. So you can move with one and shoot with the next. Okay, so let's... You, as long as you roll four, five, or six, you're around the corner. Yeah. Uh, and what we can say is you, you want to take up position oh, on yeah, that yeah. edge. Take you're not right at the corner here just yeah. to try and get a shot all the way down yeah. to that stug. So let's see if I can get something here. A six? Yeah, oh. fine. So you'll just... More because you rolled a six, you roll as far as, as the dice say in inches, but yeah. being sensible about this, what the rules say is if you name a specific point that you're moving to and the corner of a building is a very specific point, yeah. then that's where you go to. So you've moved to there, you're going to get a shot, yeah. you've got two dice, you need five. Can I do it? I think you probably can. Uh, seven, you that'll can. do it. All right, so three strike dice. Okay, um, what am I looking for here? Fives and sixes. Uh, nine. Nine. All right, okay, but I, ro I roll mine because equal can still mean that there's some kind of reaction but I have actually bounced one I've got a five right so no reaction there but yeah you're doing the right thing you've got to you've got to try chipping away at that yeah and is that you done I uh, know I've still got two ones <gasps> so uh, the the maxim is gonna mm. fire yeah okay mighty dice of how many ten dice yeah uh, but you are under covering fire I so am. you're gonna be hitting on fives and sixes there not fours fives and sixes I will take it. I'm obviously going to target yeah. this unit that's trying to sneak up. Absolutely right. And it's been moving tactically. Yeah. So that'll be Ooh. two. Just, wow, I was Just really saved from a lot of, yeah. Yeah, okay. there was a lot of... Mm, a lot of fours there. A lot of so. fours there. But it's it's two fives, so yep. that's two hits. One on the machine gun is nothing. One on the rifle team is a point of shark. So just a point of shark there. Well, if I can get you to start getting your head down, well, you know, try and keep you out of the way. My go. My uh, face. Yes, your face. Right. Okay. Six is right. nothing. Six is nothing when it's on its own. And the two fours right. are a little less useful than normal. They are. However, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my German national characteristic move. Okay. Hand granate. And this guy is going to... I've got my head. <laughs> He's going to go in with three dice of movement. We're going to take one inch off that for shot, but I still feel confident. And he's going to be chucking grenades as he goes. Now you're in cover, so uh, I roll the dice to see how many grenades hit the target. Let's okay. do that first of all. Yep. Ooh, that, uh, that means three. we've got three grenades. So oh. you need to roll me nine dice. Do you have to see if they go through the window? No, not in this situation. They automatically go in. That's the beauty of the German, uh, you know, stormtrooper move. Okay, so nine dice yeah. on one squad. Yeah, Ow. one team. Yeah, could be painful. Is one, two dead, and a uh, couple of points of shock. Three points of shock. As it, oh, threes do shock as well. Yeah, yeah? Uh, no, fours do. So you got two fours oh. and a five. Oh, you're in the open. Sorry, three dead and two points of shock. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's take your three dead off, yep. and the two points of shot. I haven't pinned you, unfortunately, which would have been kind of nice, because charging a machine gun is always a dubious thing to do at the yeah. best of time. And let's see if I get there. You, There's no you doubt about it, it. We are really going for it here. Right. Now, let's see. Uh, we're obviously not moving tactically now. Let's see what effect we have there when we right. go in there. Now... How many guys do you have? And that's the first thing we have to check. Uh, You've I got two guys. two guys. Right. So you'll get two dice for that. All right. Okay. Uh, now, the other, but the important thing is I move with three dice, so you'll get three dice for that. that every dice I move gives you a dice, which just represents you getting some fire in yeah. as I charge. You haven't got a leader with them. Nope. Um, you haven't got two points of shock, so we don't take anything off of that. I do have two points of shock. You've only got... Oh, you do? Oh, that's handy. Right. Take one, one dice off of that. 
and you are an HMG or MMG, so you add six dice for that. So this is... <laughs> ten dice against you. Yeah. yeah, ten dice against me. Now I have got... How many guys have I got there? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got a level two leader, mm -hmm. which becomes ten. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the leader's got an SMG, which puts that up to twelve. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you're defending... You're defending a concrete building. It's the only heavy cover on the table. Oh, right. So you get an extra dice for every two that you've got so far. So that gives you another five dice. Another five dice? Yeah. Okay. So that's 15 total for me? <clears throat> okay. And that's 12 total for me. All right. I'll do 10 and 5 then. What I really wanted, another one point of shock, and I'd have pinned you, and those dice would have been halved. Oh. But as it is, I missed it by just one pin. So mm. away you go. Fives and sixes. Fives kill, sixes kill and shock. That'll be four dead. Right. With five more to go. Uh, four dead and two shock. So yep. far. Yeah. Uh, drop those, drop those, drop those. Five more. Uh, one more dice. No more shock. Yeah. So one more dead was that? Yep. So how many is that in total? That's five, yeah? Yeah, five dead. Right, so I'm going to do... The rest of the team. Oh, Two guys well, dead. Well, I have killed them all, haven't I? And I haven't yeah. even rolled on my dice, but it doesn't matter. So I wipe your team out. Mm -hmm. um, however, you have killed one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and I give you a couple of pips of pin, did I? Of shock? Well, what we need to do, actually, is just roll those other two dice, because... There we go, right, okay, and you did indeed give me another two points of shock on Love those guys. So you would have actually won that combat mm. if you hadn't died. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have a team has been vaporized. You have got a team lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll for bad things happen, and that's one of your support options, so that could hurt. So yeah. roll me a d6. Yep. Uh, one, clear, two clear try for me. One, two, or three. It will be one point off your force morale. Four, five, or six, it will be two. Four. Uh, that's one. Just one. Just one off your force morale. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. All right, let me just pop this roof out the way so I can keep track of that. So I'm down to eight. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. Um, Are you done? Or was that your first? No, that was my first. Yeah. Right. Uh, I've kind of um, <laughs> hurt them a bit. Uh, that's kind of a, a Pyrrhic victory, I think. So what I'm going to have to do, but the important thing for me is you don't have a machine gun covering there. So what I'm going to have to do is get these guys to do some kind of Olympic sprint right the way across the pig farm. So they're going to move with three dice. And understandably, they're not too impressed with that order. <laughs> so there's me hoping they were going to be zooming sort of 18 inches up the table. And they don't. Instead, they're cautiously exiting the woods, wondering, is that Maxim machine gun actually down? That's right. Now, the thing is that I do actually take one point of shock on each team ah, because I've up. run. Ah. But uh, that leader has only used one of his command points so far, so he's going to take one of them off straight away. Clever. Clever. Yeah. Um, senior leader I've got left. Yeah. <sighs> Do you want to bring him on? Is it time? He's here. I've already got one. Oh, right. I've already got, got him on. He's, oh, only I've only got, got one. I've only got oh, one. All right. Do I have one or two? You've only got one, too. All oh, right. And he's sitting with Ivan. And he's sitting with Ivan. Uh, Carrying a little vodka. <laughs> and I think uh, we really want to get those guys back, but I don't think they're going to do us any favours and come back. Mm. So he's just going to get these guys to move up with one dice to here. Okay. So they're going to get a bit of cover from that. Not much, but they're going to get a bit of cover from that hedge, that mm. fence. Fair enough. Um, and these guys are kind of hung out to dry because there's not, I didn't roll well, a one to get them out. So it's the phase switches to you. Lovely. Um, hopefully I can do a bit of damage back now. Mm. See if what I get. Um, well, I got a five. Yeah. So that'll be a point on my chain of command dice. Yeah. So we'll pop that out. Uh, two, two, one. Uh, so I think with the one... I am just instantly going to have Ivan take his shot at the Stug. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Because that's, if I can keep yeah. that thing locked down, because it's yeah. got big HE, <coughs> I've got guys in buildings, if it gets rolling up and doing damage, mm. I'm done. So, five. Oh, you three. missed. Three. Under pressure. <sighs> See, the commander's looking over his shoulder and he's just 20. <laughs> um, so that's a one used. I've still got... Ooh. 
I still have the commander that I could put in there and get him to go. But what I think it actually is going to happen. These, these, this deployment point is shut down at the moment. Oh, I understand, I understand. Mm. But uh, I have a cunning plan mm. for that. Yeah. Do the Soviets have grenades? Yeah, yeah. Right, so this unit yeah. is going to activate on a three. Yeah. The They have two, they have two, I think? <coughs> yeah, that's correct. All right, let's just clean that up. Oh, no, sorry, they have four and they have none. All right. There's nobody shot at them. That's fine. So yeah. this unit yeah. is going to see if they're in range to actually right. chuck grenades. How far is it? Well, uh, you can throw a grenade 11 inches, but you need to roll 12 on two dice. And if you run a, throw a grenade 8 inches, you need 9. Uh, and can I move and throw a grenade? What you could actually do is just turn around and shoot me, <laughs> because I've gone th four guys with three points of shot. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll not mm. activate them yet. Yeah. What okay. I will actually activate is these right. on a 2. Yeah. And you could, uh, uh, you can't throw grenades on a two, oh, shoot them. but you can shoot them, that's fine. Right. Uh, so I think that's that's my best option. Yeah. So I've got the yeah. six for the machine gun and yeah. two guys. Yeah. Make sure I've counted this right. Eight dice, yes. Mm. So I'm just going to try and finish those little guys off. Okay. But not like that. Not like that. One hit. Yeah. So these, these guys have had a bit of a charmed life so far, even, well, apart from the fact that half of them died. Uh, no effect. We're clearly hiding or weeping at the foot of the house. <laughs> Look, shoot low onto the wall. They're, they're hiding down there. Shoot low on the wall. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a smaller unit now anyway, so I'm not yeah. as scared about them. No, I wouldn't So really what will worry happen is, on a three, mm. these guys will activate. Right. Actually, no. On a two, mm. these guys will activate mm. and shoot them. Because I have another two. Yeah, okay. Right. So you can just turn these guys around. And they'll just shoot. If you want to... Move one d six. They'll shoot at half effect, but you nah, probably nah. get no. Nah, okay, nah, they'll just, right, just turn them around. Right, they'll okay. shoot at full effect. Yeah. So we'll give you. Well, in that situation, you're going to get six dice from there. You're going to get nine dice. That's fine. And you're going to hit on five. four, five, and six because it's under eighteen, so, so it's close range. Nine. That's fine. We should do something. That's one, two, three, four, five, mm, six. Yeah, that's it. And that is uh, one. Uh, it's actually two teams. You've oh. got a machine gun team of two men and a rifle team of one man. So, uh, three apiece. Mm -hmm, three apiece. Machine gun team is two points of shock. Yeah. So uh, we, we're going to put uh, two points of shock on them. Mm -hmm. So they're not looking happy at all. The only that We're definitely pinned, but we could route them with another roll here. Another four. And another point of shock. Ah, but you're in the heavy cover. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I'm or not actually, I don't think I've got in there, right, because there's no door there. I've just gone up to it and chucked my grenades through the window, I reckon. Fair enough. No, I just, I can't get in. Yeah. Um, so, we're, we're pinned, because we've got six points of shock mm. on four guys. That's fair uh, enough. But it's, uh, it's not looking good for them. Right. All right. Okay. And then my last three, yeah. I'm actually then going to use on this squad up here right. to fire the, uh, the machine gun. Down on there. That squad. Right, six dice. Yeah, which I think is the most efficient way to use my dice right now. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. It's trying to get the most out of the hand. Th think of the, the dice as a hand of cards, really, yeah. how you play them and in what sequence you play them. Because mm -hmm. you can get things to happen in different sequences and that can affect. Mm -hmm. You see, th this is what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. I, I thought, mm -hmm. right, the way I was looking at it was, mm -hmm. I'll start here, mm -hmm. hopefully get them, but they're not yeah. overly important. Yeah. Uh, oh, we don't have a maxim on the road there. No. <laughs> This unit here is fit to turn and shoot them. Mm. This unit here is mm. fit to fire down at them. Yeah. Uh, quick question, what yeah. is the Soviet uh, national trait? Uh, okay, we fine. Seen it yet. Well, no, uh, the Soviet national trait is more about preparatory fire from artillery, if that's ah. available, which it isn't in this situation. But you can get up and do an hurrah charge, where if you've got sections within a certain distance of each other, they can all get up and go steaming across the table. Oh, so they all charge together? They all charge together. Ooh. So they maybe, can be pretty well, maybe nasty. We'll see that later in this game. But right now, it's six shots into that uh, yep. gun crew. So, yep. light cover. And, uh, oh, four hits. Lovely. Nasty. Nasty. Right, and it's just one team, so we just roll the dice, we don't split them up. It's one man dead. But interesting thing. It might be your. It might be the big here. man, and definitely one point of shock as well. Yeah. So let's see if we roll a one, it's somebody important. It's Not the six. <laughs> kind of problem is when you've got a small team like that, everybody's important. Mm. It's just hands. Yeah, it is. Although hands may have owed people money. 
Hands that does dishes. Ooh, a six. No good. <laughs> no good. Two fours, also Two fours no right. And, uh, oh gosh. No three to activate that stug yet, which is good. No three to activate the stug. I'm desperately going to activate these guys here and they are going to run again. Okay. I can't rally anything off Ever? this time because I'm, I'm uh, not activating on a leader, I'm activating on just the, the squad's roll. So that's, that's 12. 12. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. They've got one point of shock, so that will go down to 11. And then when we, if we do that again, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have even more shock. So another point of shock goes on each team. So all this running about is causing the unit to become disorganized. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the two. Now the four. They're going to have to fire up at that window. But that senior leader is going to use his machine gewehr yep, national characteristic because he can and he's that type of guy. And he's also going to take the point of shock off because he's got three yeah. command initiatives, as we know. So that's six, eight, nine, ten dice. So a whole lot of firepower coming at you. Ah. Four hits. Ow. Four hits. Uh, that oh, all that. has to go onto the one unit. That all goes onto the one unit because there's no teams in the Soviet army. Uh, that'll be three points of shock. Three points of shock. So the shock's mounting up there. You've got seven points of shock on those guys. Yeah, but I do have a lot of guys there. So one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys you there. You've got a lot of guys. So your phase, mm -hmm. your phase. Now, whenever they shoot, does the shock affect the shots? It does, although we let you off that last time unintentionally. We forgot the that. shock always comes off the guys who are firing. If they're at a window, it still comes off. You can't say, "Oh, it's those guys who are eating their sandwiches yeah. out the back." Yeah, <laughs> it's always off the guys firing. Right. But well, uh, we actually, go. I would have removed two for my junior commander in there. Yeah. So, so let's assume you did that. Yeah. All right. Uh, All's done. well in the end. Yep. All done? Yeah, all done. All done. Sadly. All, right, all done. See what magic I can work here. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of fours. Now, a lot of fours is great if you're American or British because you've got two senior leaders and they can do a lot. Mm -hmm. But at this point of the war, all my German, I've only got one senior leader in the German army because all the other good guys are dead. Yeah. And, uh, and the Soviets have only got one senior leader. So two of those dice are kind of... Useless, yeah. which is uh, just the way that the hand of hand of dice runs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got four, three, two. Yeah. Well, that still gives you a lot to do. Yeah. Well, uh, on the two, I mm -hmm. like to beat these guys and have them just pump more shots into those four. Okay. The only positive thing I can say about that is because I've already got so much shock, I count as being in light cover rather than in the open. That's because they're pinned. And but eight shots, I believe. I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you've got, uh, we're going to go with eight shots there. Uh, yeah. Uh, nine, nine. Nine, nine okay. Nine, nine. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So we'll try that. Um, and ooh, one, five, two. four, two just, hits. Just two hits. Right. I'll get them cleared out of there. But we'll see what happens when I roll for my uh, casualties. Ooh, one dead. One dead. And not a shock. If, uh, if they'd been open, in the open, that three would have been a shot if they hadn't been pinned. The leader is hit. This is not going to go well. What happens? He dies. He's dead. Oof. He's dead. He's dead. Now, a couple of things happen there. <laughs> he dies, which is a bad thing happened. We roll a dice for a bad thing happens. Junior leader dies. Five. Hmm, two points off my force morale. What? So all of a sudden, things are going to... Having not had to take a force morale test so far, I think we're kind of at a tipping point here. Yeah, yeah. Because what that also means is because he has died, there's now only three men there, and they've got six points of shock. Yep. Which means a whole squad routes. Oh, Because it far. still counts as two teams. So we roll two dice, and we add six. Ten plus six, 16. 16. They are going for the hills. They really are running, running back to the woods. And the guys coming through the pig farm go, Oh, we were just coming up to support you. <laughs> but, Run, uh, flee, you fools. <laughs> yeah. So, and that, of course, is another bad thing happens. So we roll a dice for that, and we for get a three. three. Four, a uh, squad breaks, is two points off our force morale. Oh. So we're down to four. Yeah. So you can see that from... <laughs> Being entirely high morale, right. a disastrous turn like that can really have effects, especially if you shoot out that window and kill the guys who are there. See, th but. this is what I was thinking, because mm. 
you were talking about the sequence mm. of play. Yeah. So by me now mm. having got rid of what's there, yeah. this is now active again. Yeah, you can use that deployment point. Which is great. Uh, it also means that uh, if, I, if I want, mm. I can continue to shoot out of there. Yeah. Or I can do something else nasty. Um, I think I am just going to continue to shoot from here well, with everybody. If you, yeah, that's fine. If or I think if you want, you can just move to the window and shoot with uh, the machine gun and two riflemen, eight dice. But I'll be completely in the open. I'll do that. Right. So chuck eight dice there because I mean you, you two, three, four. Yeah. It's it's at the it's moment really it's odd. kind of like you're you're behind the settee and yeah. firing at the window over there. It might be a good idea to go past the settee and go and yeah. shoot out the yeah. window. Right. <laughs> you know the, <laughs> It's a nice know, the, settee. There was a rather nice chaise long. Yeah. All the way from Paris. Yeah. You know, by my great great grandfather. Yeah. Fair comment. Right. Uh, right. Uh, so let's see what I get. Yeah. Okay. So one, that's two, three. Three hits. And um, we've already got three guys there with two points of shock, so I'm not feeling too confident yeah. about this being very positive. Uh, I'm in the open, so that counts as dead. There's no other shock. And actually, I'm not, I'm, I've kind of just vaguely avoided even becoming pinned there on that roll. Bloody hell. So, uh, just hanging on by the skin. Just hanging on by so the skin. That's the two and the three used. I've got the four left over for the yeah. commander. <gasps> Let's hit the stug. And you can use his, the commander, to control the fire. Aim well, Ivan. And that means you hit on a four. Ivan, <laughs> there is tank there. You shoot. You shoot now. Slowly. Or I kill you. <laughs> you know, that, that there are different ways to, to motivate people, yeah, you know. Yeah, the, the Russian way is onward, onward, onward. Yeah. Right, so two okay. dice need a four? Yeah. All right, let's see yeah. what we get there. Uh, that'll do on 11. That'll do. Right. So three dice. Uh, yeah. Uh, for a two, three, four. So no Nine. penetrative hits. Interestingly, if you'd got 12, you'd have got a really lucky hit, which would have given you another two strike dice. Really? Yeah. Ooh, wow. So that could have actually done some damage. So if I get none, we'll have a morale oh, guy, but I, it's bounced. That's fine. fine. It's just bong bong. Yeah. All right, okay. so that's me, Dunsky. Good. Right. But you are now down by one. You're on four. Oh, you rotter, sir. You rotter. Oh, and a six. That's got a sting. That's nice. That's <laughs> less than perfect. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is these guys who aren't yet pinned are going to run like crazy and uh, they will go 11 inches okay. because they're really not happy. Yeah. However, by running 11 inches, that actually increases their shock. By one. By one. And that Ends means up. that when they reach here, they become pinned. So what they've effectively done is dived into the vegetable patch, into cover. They're in that high! They're in that high! <laughs> yeah. Now, was that with that done, yeah. yeah, that was very good. With that done, I'm going to combine the one and the two mm -hmm. to make a three. I and see. that stug is going to fire past the dice container oh, into crap. that house with oh. six dice. This is going to hurt. If I roll two sixes, because these are flimsy and rubbishy houses, the house will become unstable. You got two sixes. So the house has become unstable. So you, if you don't get out of there by the end of the turn, that building is going to collapse on your head. Right, and I assume that means two hits, th three, three hits. hits. Three hits. So I have to see what happens to the squad as Count, well. That counting is in the open. Yeah, you do. So, oh. so this is the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, one guy dies. One dead. That's all. One dead. But let's roll to see if it's anybody important. Yeah. Is it the junior leader? Is it the junior leader? It is. It is. So let's see what happens to let's him. Let's see what happens to him. A three. He's he's knocked down. He's knocked down. So oh. we'll put him down. And that is a bad thing happens. So can you roll for a junior leader wounded, please? Uh, six. It's two points off your force morale. Blast. So that takes me down to six. That takes you down to six. So all of a sudden, my four doesn't look quite as horrifically bad as it was five mm. minutes ago, because I'm going to pound that house until you're all dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. My grandfather built this house with his bare hands. <laughs> he looks, wrestled a bear for the key to the front door. It, it, he probably did, and that's why it's such rubbish cover. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, my face? Your face, yeah. Oh. Still on five dice, so you've got the odds at the moment. Not when I no, roll like that. No, quite. That's nearly as bad as my roll. 
but I can do some stuff with it. You can, yeah, it's kind so, of one of those hands you can make about what you like because there's a lot of flexibility in wands. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a three. Mm -hmm. I think I still have one section in backup here. Mm, yeah. So I'm going to deploy a section. You do. Being, a, being an evil Soviet, you've got a huge force yep. of four squads. So I will deploy them into here. Mm. Actually, could it be even meaner? Mm, I could, but what sort of windows are in that? Rubbishy ones. That one yeah. has got four windows, yeah, which I'll gives you eight... Uh, eight there. guys able to fire so that's yeah. kind of and it's also as we've established a concrete building yeah um so i'm just going to line everybody up it's going to give you a lot of firepower dice because you're going to get six dice from the machine gun and then two per window six twelve dice uh and because you've got the leader um that's, yeah. no, that's leader that's a junior that's a german thing you don't get machine gun but no. so you just you, you get your 12 dice though and that's enough yeah. um you're going to fire, and the hits are going to be split between them. But That's fine. If I can mm. even get yeah. one more onto that squad that's already running, that's yeah. double. Now, interestingly, the way this works is they are in uh, 18. Yep. So you roll for all your hits as though it's at short range. These yep. guys are at long range, but the hits are still shared, mm. but they just count as being in one level cover better because they're further away. All right. Uh, so I'll do six and six. Uh, so just, or, yeah, I can do. Uh, Okie dokie. That'll so be two, two so far. That's fair enough. And then again. Ooh. <laughs> six in total. So we're going to roll three on the front guys. Now, funnily enough, actually, they all count as in. But we've got, uh, so we're going to have two on the machine gun team. One dead. And one on the rifle team. One, rifle team. one dead. Yeah. Wiped out. And one on the machine gun team. So, um, bad time. Bad time. Uh, these guys are going to move another two d six plus three. They're already routing, so we don't we don't roll for them again routing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they do continue to route. Uh, we've also lost a team, so yep. we need to roll for a bad thing that happens on that. So yep. I will just roll one dice before I go on and do six. the rest. That's not good. So that's one off my force morale, so I'm down to three. But that guy mm. now has mm. six on him alone. He does. He does. <laughs> so he's not happy. He's gone. But we've got another three. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the turn, ah. uh, once the turn ends, anybody with extra shot just goes. Got it. Uh, so the oh. rifle team, we're going to put three, uh, two on. Yep. So that's one. But they count as being in light cover, so that's one point of shock. And nothing on there. So we'll put that one point of shock on there. So already we're seeing we've got some shock building up there. So my yeah. determined blitzkriegy run up the road is uh, is not going well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to try and extricate these guys. And what my plan now is, is to use my stug to blow everything up that I can <laughs> to the point where it reduces your morale. But I need to extricate these guys or at least get them hiding behind the pig pens. Mm. Okay. So, carry on. Are you going to be able to stop me with your evil plans? Well, the next thing that's going to happen is this unit yep. that's at the windows here yep. is going to fire out here. Yep, that's perfectly reasonable. You've got a 45 degree angle of fire out yep, of those so windows. I think I've got two windows, so that'll be eight shots. Yeah, you've got actually these windows here are the good ones. You can use the overwatch markers mm -hmm. because they've got the little lines which show you exactly where your 45 degrees go. So they're in, but they are also in so okay. you can have the machine gun mm -hmm. and another four guys so that's 10 dice okay. you're taking a risk by staying in there because if the building collapses on you i know but if, if i can break yeah, out you're right squad, no you're right i would do exactly the same i'd be know, staying in there pour it on so let's see what we get short mm, range yeah fours fives and sixes one Ooh. two three four five six i will take that all day long three on uh the rifle team who have already got three shock but they count as in heavy cover now because they're yeah. in light cover, but so they're one better, so nothing. nothing for them. But three on the machine gun team who just count as light cover. One's dead and one shock. And let's see if it's anybody important by rolling a single dice. It might be. We've got the senior leader there. No. It's not. So, okay. that, but nevertheless, poor, yeah. that team's down to one man. We're not looking good, are we here? Mm. Well, and it's I'm not. <laughs> chew through, chew through, chew through. And that was a two I used to yeah. do that. So that is my dice done. Your face. Uh, but now three. I'm down to three dice. 
Ooh, oh. one of my chain of commandos. Yeah. And then... Which doesn't really help one. me at the moment. And a three and a one. Okay. Bad times? Bad times. On the one, this machine gun team ah, so, is okay. going to fall back there. Uh, how far? Two dice, because I daren't six. put any more shock on him. So he's going to go six. So he's, he's falling back around here. Uh, and these guys are attached, so they, those leaders are attached, so they just go with him for free. Yep. Uh, and with the three, <laughs> I'm going to get that squad to run away so that they can try and avoid being hit. And that'll be nine inches. Yeah, now I've got a lot of shot, which if I was moving towards you, I'd take off an inch per point of shot, but I'm moving away, so I don't slow down when I'm moving away from right. you. Right. Because uh, yeah, so it's it's more showing the willingness to go in the direction. Exactly, exactly. So the Germans have came into the mm. the farmland yeah. in Russia, yeah, and have met a rather stiff resistance. Exactly, uh, Dunsky. Sadly, that's me done. Yeah, there's not a lot of. And I still have my five. Yeah, I re I really would have loved to use that three to get fire in from this stug, mm -hmm. uh, but I. I've got to get those guys into some cover and try and put pressure on you because you don't have an answer to the stug. That's the ace up my sleeve, mm. which isn't up my sleeve. But it's on the road. It's on the road. <laughs> All right, I'll roll okay. my five. Yeah. Oh, so I get mm. another chain of command point. You do. Uh, the One of the fours is wasted. Yeah. But the rest is good. Four, three, and one. The rest I can make something out of. So, what is going to happen is... What am I more likely to get rid of? So you're on three, yeah? Mm. What am I more likely to get rid of on break here? So I think the way I'm going to do this is uh, the commander who's here mm. is going to activate. Yeah. He's going to separate from Ivan. This is on a four, yeah, yeah. And, yep, and he's going to go for mm. a, a regular move 2d6 this yeah. way. Well, he can actually move 3d6, and there's no penalties for that, because he's a, he's a leader. All leaders have got that little bit of a bonus, so... Perfect. There you go, yeah. That's so <coughs> 16 inches. Move him up. So, he's yeah, he's he with is, those guys. Yeah, jumping into the building with them. Okay. And giving them a fire order from his command point. Yeah. So they will fire mm -hmm. out the window here yeah. for 10 dice. Yeah, they that, can do that at those, that at those guys hiding in the cabbage patch. Yeah. Right, so. so... How many dice do I have here? I have... 10 total. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we get. That'll do. Mm, that will do nicely. So that's Looks four like five, five. Five to me. So those guys are in hard cover as we know because yes. they're in light cover but we give them an extra because they're, uh, they've got their heads down and there's no effect. Oh, rage. But you're right, going for that low hanging fruit, trying to get my force morale down is mm -hmm. the way to do it. Yeah. So on the the one, yeah, that'll be Ivan standing alone, oh. shooting for the stug. Right, five to hit. See what I mean about the efficiency mm -hmm. of it? Can I yep. make it out of him alone? Yeah, that's right, absolutely. So five to hit. Uh, three. Three. He's on his own. The boss isn't looking. <laughs> that's all right. Don't do that. Mm. Uh, then the last thing he's, is he's on the vodka. I reckon at this point it's oh, a yeah. double vision. Which See, stug am I firing at? <laughs> <laughs> there are many tanks. Many, <laughs> many tanks. Okay, uh, yeah. so the next thing I'm going to do is this unit here yeah. is going to take a long range shot down at yeah. the bigger unit there. Yeah. Well, the, the hits will be split between these two teams, actually, which is bigger could units could well, which could well actually, wipe a team out. Well, we'll see. So it's everybody. Everybody. But it is long range. But it's, uh, yeah, so you've got four windows. So six from one, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. All right, I'll have to roll two extra dice. In fact, two blue, please. Well, why not? We'll just do it in one shot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I shouldn't have given you those two dice, should I? <laughs> yeah, so that'll so be four. fives and sixes is four hits. Right, so Funny. I'm going to put two on the bloke on his own, who's in light cover because he's pinned. Uh, um, but he's already routed, but you haven't wiped him out, but he keeps running. So let us let me roll me 2d6 and add six. So he goes 11. another 11. Not off the table yet. He's into the woods, though. Which no. means that he'll be hard cover if you see him, and mm. we have to roll. And it hits you do four, so we've got to roll two on that rifle team there. 
and that Night. is one point of shock. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, you're in the open. They're in the open. I'll take yeah. that. And that will be turn for me. All right. So I'm here again with my... Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll use one of these. My three dice. Five, four, and two. Five. One on my chain of command dice. I'm up to four. If I get a full one, I'll end the turn, and that building will fall on your head. <laughs> uh, but I haven't got a three to activate my Stug. Yes. But I have got a two. Right. The good thing is, this senior leader here has got a nine-inch shout range. The problem is, they can't move because they're pinned. Do I run him forward and rally them? I think not. I think he's going to say to these guys, move back into the farmyard, and he's going to take that point of shock off. These guys move back 11 inches in the farmyard, and they're really just trying to reorganise themselves. Yeah. On the two, we're going to move that squad. We only have to move two dice, I hope, yeah. Ten Oops, inches, sorry, yeah. Ten inches. More than enough. And these guys are coming back round the church where they plan to do a bit of reorganisation as well and see if my master plan, crush the whole village with the stug, works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, there this we are. Ignominious re retreat for the Blitzkriegy Germans. It's your phase. Now, is it just me, or does this feel like a rip-off of Band of Brothers? <laughs> you know, the, the invasion of the village where they meet the, the German force waiting on them? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of panned out like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're still on three. Yeah. So what do I need to do? I need to be clever. No. What do I have left? I have a little armoured car that I haven't brought on You yet. have, haven't you? Yeah. I, oh, could Bring I? that on and I can blow him up. Not if I go out round by the farm. Not if you go out round by the farm, away. yeah, that's true. Alright, anyway, let's see what I get. Oh, two sixes, yes. Oh, now interesting, Back if you want to bring the armoured car on, remember the armoured car has to come on from a, its own peculiar deployment point on your edge. Yes, I know. If you wanted to bring it on, now would be the time to do it, because you've got the next phase to drive him off before the Stug can fire. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the armoured car, he come on six? Yeah, he comes on, uh, yet yeah, six inches from his, his deployment point, which is there. Uh, I'll just pop him to there for now, mm -hmm. and that'll be a three. Yep. Which leaves me with a five, actually. I think I rolled a five. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Did I roll a five? You did. I did. Then that's another point on the chain of command. Yeah. And I re-roll. With yeah. five still. Yeah. Oh, oh another phase. You. Right. However, it's kind of a funny hand. You can't really do a lot with it. But well, you not certainly, quite. You can't activate your armoured car. But I can't activate the armoured mm. car, but I have another roll at it. You do. I can activate the leader in a section. Yeah. Which could be very useful. Yeah. So... I'm really not worried about losing that unit to the building falling on top of them. No. So they are just <laughs> going to continue doing what they're doing. They're going to stand there while it burns around them and shoot these guys to try and finish them off. Okay, fine. 12 dice. So as the timbers creak and the walls move about, they're fired. Don't worry about the building, comrades. <laughs> it, 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 will, it will be fine. It will be fine. So your grandfather up. built it. <laughs> I have trust in your grandfather. <laughs> he handmade the nails that hold these walls. <laughs> Okay, right. let's see what I get on 12. So, let's see what you hit. I think it's right. 12. Yeah, so do I. It is, yeah. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm. Okay. I, I will quite happily take 6 on that. And let's roll the 6 dice to see what happens to my guys in hardcover. Only 5 and 6 count. That'll be 3, three. 5s. They route. Yep. 18 and that's route. that's going to be a bad thing happens. It will be a bad thing happens. Uh, so, let's roll, first of all, the 2d6. They ignore any terrain. They just go 12 inches yeah. directly away from the enemy fire. So they end up weeping in the farmyard. Um, and we take their shot with them. Mm -hmm. And that is a bad thing happens, as you say. Now, it's team breaks. If I roll a one, it won't affect my force morale. Five will. Ah. All right, so my force morale is down to two. Uh, which means that you can remove one of my deployment points from the table. So uh, it's uh, I don't actually have anything coming on, so it doesn't really give you any benefit. Yeah, I'll hmm. I'll just leave it be. Yeah. Um, so that was that was the two hmm. I used for them, and I still have a four for my commander. Two oh no, that was the four I used. So I yeah. still have a two for another section. Yeah. And just because I can. Can I still shoot him down in the forest there? Yeah, you can. <laughs> might as well. You might as well. So, 12, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12 dice. Yeah. Hitting on 5s and 6s. 
Yeah, do try and finish that off. Yeah, if you if you wipe that section out, that will be another fourth morale test. Uh, well, that'll oh, be one, oh. two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <sighs> Mass firepower from Russia. Uh, kind of two bad rolls here could uh, finish me off. Missed! Because oh. <laughs> I'm in light cover and pinned, I count as being in heavy cover and yep. you miss me. Thank goodness, because if they'd broken and I'd then roll badly, that would have been game over for me. As it is. What of our faith. The power of the... you got another phase. Oh, no. <laughs> Go for it. The Russians are seeing the Germans <laughs> heading back to regroup. They think they're retreating. They're pushing oh, for yeah. it. We're not heading back to regroup. We're heading back to Berlin at this rate. <laughs> okay, so a six is no good. Yeah, but there's two, a whole lot of stuff Two threes, a one, and a four there. Yeah. That's perfect for me to yeah. end uh, an yeah. activate f active phase. Yeah. So, I'm going to activate the armoured car first. So, how far can I move him? Right, okay. Well, you probably want to go around the corner, don't you? Yeah. So, so you want to thing. remain on the road. So, you can roll 2d6 and you double that. 2d6 doubled? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, that will be 14. 14, right. So, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where can I get him to? 14, on the yeah. road. So, he kind of goes, he's gone. Yeah. Round the bend. That's so he's it. just yeah. parked in behind here now. Yeah. So well, you, but you, because you've gone with two d six, you can actually make an, a ninety degree turn. You oh, could perfect. go three d six. So you kind of you've done a handbrake turn around yeah. the corner and you've so got they, out. Of they've the driven line up the road and went. Wait, that's a stug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a three done. Yeah. Uh, for the one, I'm going to shoot the stug. Yeah. Ivan, I'm giving you a blue dice, man. Yes. Oh no, they blew that up there. Hey. We'll roll that one again. Oh no, oh, there's a six anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the, I meant the three because it was cobbed. You could have got, you could have, if you'd rolled the oh, well, the okay. other one and made that a six, no, it would have been the magic three. hit. But no, okay, right, so three so dice. Three dice. See what you hit. Oh, triple one. Okay, but you could still, you could still shock me into some ridiculous action. No, no it's bounced fine. off. My men are singing suitably patriotic songs and not bothered about you. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, How so. Well? <laughs> Can these guys see anything now? I don't think they can. No, they can't. So I think now's the time they're going to take the 2d6 from using mm. the 4 for the commander yeah. and get out of the building. Get out of, get out of Rog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Four, oh, there they go. So four there. inches. That's just enough to get everybody, everybody to out. jump out. <laughs> yeah. So they'll just go out behind the building, not yeah. out into road. So just take a quick second to get everybody no out. No worries. Da, 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 da. Lots of little men. There we go. Uh, then I've got a three left. Mm. So that section with the 12 dice is going to go again. Yeah. Has to be done. Has to be done. Just I think you're right. I think you're right. It's, lay uh, the fire into it. So Ooh. that's one, two, three, I think. Uh, fives and sixes. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll make that three. Okay. Now, having having got, got away with... Six dice. I can just see the sort of three now being the ones that are going to hurt me. No! He's no! He's burying himself down into the... So before this gentleman became a soldier, he actually worked as a forester. <laughs> yeah, I think he's probably an invisible man. Uh, <laughs> right, so my, my phase. Two. Two dice. No, three dice. Oh, does it only ever go down yeah. to three? No, it goes, it goes down further, but... One on my chain of command, I'm up to five. And but it's too late to collapse the building. Yeah, and that's so that's gonna do you much. Great. So all I've leader. got is a senior leader. Yeah. Uh he's he's gonna go over there and he's gonna take uh two points of shock off because he it took him one point to because move. He yeah. So he's he's doing his job. That's kind of my rubbish phase over. Uh, it's just, can we break the Germans before that Doug wakes up? Yeah, I don't you know. There, there, there looks to be a lot of confusion down in the, the back of the German lines here. It's just a bit of a, a mashup of everybody running together. Yeah, but we're, we're going to rally that up and we're going to move up the road, following the Stug, <laughs> blasting our way through the village. See what we get. Uh, five I will take to give yeah. me four. For the chain of command. Yeah. Uh, the six is useless. The two and the one I can actually work with. Mm. So, uh, first thing I'll do, 12 dice into that little dude in the forest. <laughs> he <laughs> has, has to die. <laughs> has to die. Persecution. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Enemy soldier, yeah. he, that guy goes, yeah. that's going to give you another test and possibly bring this close to an end. Get off my land, is what you're saying, really. This is our you, farm. You, you collective farmers are all the this, same. This is our farm. 
This mm. this is our bacon. Mm. Yeah. This is the people's bacon. You cannot have the people's bacon. Uh. <laughs> that's more like oh, it. So that's five. Five. Five hits. Five. Five. Come on. On five. There has to be. The laws of mathematical probability. There has to be something. Yes. <sighs> Two. He's dead. At last. He's dead. You've killed him. But what does it do? Team wiped out. On a one or two, it will do nothing to my false morale. Oh, on a three, that's do one, one off. Bush. Now, that means, <laughs> you may be interested to know, that my uh, number of dice goes down even further. To two? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, All right, but that was a three. I've got a one left, so I can shoot the stug. Yeah. And I will shoot the stug. Shoot the yeah. stug. Come on, shoot oh, the stug. Here we go. I hit the stug on a five. You hit the stug on a five. And I get three dice. Uh, None night. of them penetrate. But nevertheless, you could cause some psychological damage to me. With, as if, yeah, there you go. Even Stevens. At last. So roll me a dice and see what the effect is of that. That'll be a three. Evens. And on a three, I have to halt and engage the firer in the next phase. Oh. Well, that could be worse for me. Yeah. It could be better for Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> but... There we go. So, Aaron, is the is the tank commander just suddenly going, look, someone has been shooting at us all yeah. goddamn day. Would you please mind just shoot back at him just the <laughs> once? Absolutely. That's exactly what it is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check how many command dice I get here because <laughs> it's, uh, it it's day? so low. I can't remember getting to this phase in any game previously. Oh, wow. Well, again, this is going to be useful for everybody at home if it ever does happen to them. Yeah, quite. Okay, right. Well... Uh, the only problem is I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let, let's take a brief overview of the table while right. you get your glasses. Okay, So great. as things look, the Soviets <laughs> have set themselves up an excellent line of defense here. They are in the, st the concrete barn. They are in the store here. They've jumped yeah. out of the house here. I've got my little armored car at the back here just ready to zip about and maybe do something. Uh, the Germans, on the other hand, are in a pretty poor state. There are... Basically, tokens everywhere, the Stug isn't looking happy. So not looking good for the Germans here. Not looking great at all, especially as I'm down to two command dice, which oh. I'm going to roll. Wunderbar. But I have got my guys out of trouble. Oh, a five? I've got a five, which gives me a chain of command dice. Yeah. Well, that could be. I could do something with that, but I don't know what. But the more importantly, I've got a three, and mm. I'm going to fire at those guys in that house who've really been uh, annoying so me with the Stug. Ah, but mm. the Stug's effect... It has to shoot Ivan. Oh, no. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is use the com first command initiative to rally the shock off him. Yeah. Secondly, I'm going to shoot Ivan. <laughs> and I think I might just wipe out a team. <laughs> that, yeah. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, that is five hits uh, on Ivan. Yeah. Let's that's... see what if... So, he's in light cover, but actually that goes down because he's been fired out with HE. Yep. If I don't fire dice over her. Yeah, uh, so fives and sixes kill. So the law of probabilities tells me. Uh, there's two fives there. He's dead. He's dead. Ivan's dead. Yeah. Right. So we need to roll for a bad thing happens. Farewell, Ivan. You did your job. He did, I see, quite heroically, to be fair to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see so what bad stuff happens. On a four? On a four is team wiped out. On a four is just one point off your force morale. That pops me to Down five. To five. But... Looking oh, at um, looking at the table, should be five. what he has done is pinned this stug down to the its deployment yeah. point for the whole game, and it's only a rubbishy anti-tank rifle. But for him, yeah. it's uh, it's, it's not been good. Seen it, and he's just been lumping shells at it. That's it. There you go. That's my phase with my right. two dice. I still get five. Mm -hmm. You do. I need to take another point off you. Uh, another mm -hmm. one of those. Yeah. I think that actually gives me. My chain of command dice. Okay, I'm interrupting. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. Six I could eight. inter... Now I've got my t full chain of command dice, I could interrupt. Mm. But I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I'm not going to blow up that whole team and mm. destroy it. So, so I'm... No, carry on. Carry on. Yeah. So I think what is going to happen here, with what I have left, I have two threes, a two, and a six. The six is useless. Yeah. I'm 90% sure I have a chain of command dice now. I'm not 100% certain because mm. I think it took a knock. Mm. Uh so I tell you what, I'll play fair. Yeah. I think I have it. Odds I have it, evens I don't. Okay. Just to play fair, okay? Yeah. Just so. because I've forgotten what it was on. Odds I have it. Right. That's fair enough. 
as long as you agree with your opponent. Do you agree? I oh, totally agree. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Uh, right, so what to do now? Two threes and a two. I kind of need to come after you now. Yeah, because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing the sort of uh, reorganization phase for my force. I'm really just trying to get their morale up. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm hiding mm -hmm. and relying on my stug to batter some holes in you because I reckon if I can knock a few holes in you, get you down, you know, yeah, drop you a chain, drop a little bit of your command ice, mm. then we could uh, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Okay, so <laughs> I'm thinking this squad will have to be on a three. Yeah. And go for a half moving fire to get mm. over this hedge or this wall. Fence. It's a high fence there, so you would take the whole turn to cross it. Ah, so it'll do everything to get yeah, across. Do the whole thing because it's a high fence. It's six foot six, seven foot high. Okay. Well, I'll I'll do that. Yeah. Just so that it's done. So everybody's yeah. moving across to here. Yeah. Now, do I still have to roll my movement? No, that's uh, that's fine. You, you you're next to the wall, you, to the high obstacle, the high wall or fence. You just cross it. You just take the whole two actions to okay, do it. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Well, it just means that I've got guys for the next mm. round that are sort of in a position to put you under pressure. Yeah. And I think that's mm. that's the best way to do that. Okay. Uh, I've got another three up in the, the top of here. Yeah. Who can see all the way down. Oh, they can, can't they? Yeah. Right to that back unit. Ouch. So. These guys here, the machine gun team. Yeah. Yep, there's only one man there and, and the NCO. So that's low hanging fruit again. Yep, that's the primary So target. you've got six dice, but you have got five points of shock. Every two points of shock takes a firing dice off. So we don't yeah. count. So that's just two off. So four dice. Activating on three. So I'll take two points off. Uh, but then you can't get him to fire. Oh, oh, you can get him to fire on the two. Yeah. So you'll use the three to activate him and right, take two take points off. off. And then they'll activate on the two. So and you get five lose. dice then, because you've uh, you've got three points of shot. Okay, I think that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's a good way. To, so you're using your commander to do all the rallying, and um, oh, great roll! Four three hits, fives, three fives and a six. Yeah, four hits. That is a great roll. And how do you split those down? I don't. It's just one team. All right, but because there's other teams within four, can you not spread it out? Um, well, I don't think you can actually see them because they're behind a high fence. Ah, fair enough. So I don't even think they're in, they're in vision. One dice. <clears throat> is One it, dice. Is it the junior officer? It's, it's, is it the junior leader? Or if it's the junior leader, it'll be bad. If it's <laughs> machine gunner. One. It is. is the junior leader. What happens to him? Five. He's lightly wounded. Mm. Bad stuff happens? Uh, yeah, that is a bad stuff happen. Junior leader wounded. Four. If I roll a one or two, it would have been no effect. But as it is... Drop one. Force morale's gone. Game. Game. Well played. Yeah. Well, not actually. Really badly played. I thought I'm going to be really aggressive as Germans because I've got this stug. I'm going to make you come out and expose yourself. And then I'm going to blast the hell out of you. And it just didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, th this is the thing. For this particular scenario, mm. the Germans have a decent bit of an advantage. That's why during the patrol mm. phase, I was just looking to lock you down fast and not give you too much of an edge getting up at me. Yeah. And then when I started to deploy my stuff, it was just, mm. right, where can I set up sort of hard points to actually defend the table and make you come at me? Because yeah. that, that seemed to be your mentality was come mm. at me. I mean, like, you saw I didn't really advance too much during <laughs> that game, guys, no. because I thought I didn't have to. Right until the end there where I thought, right, I now need to push up into these weakened Germans and start tearing them down. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, get your comments in below. Tell us what tactics you would have used. How would you have perhaps played it differently to myself or to Richard? Uh, we'll move on. We will see you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.